and we're going to be talking about strings. We're going to be talking about the difference between C in and get line. We're going to be talking about how to insert characters. We're going to have a workaround for if you put in a character for an integer. So I think I'm going to do that first. So we have a integer number. We have some other integers. So let's go in here right now and we'll do C out. Enter a number. And then we'll do the infamous C in number. And then we'll do C out. Your, your number is n number. So first time I'll do it right, the second time I'll do it wrong and let's see what happens. So enter a number, and I'll do 50, and your number is 50. So everything's peachy keen. So now let's do it, and let's type in the number AB, which last I heard is not a number. Okay, it says your number is zero. Well, obviously, that's an issue because it's going to take the value of this and convert it to zero. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put a little catch in here. I'm going to put if and we're going to use what is called a fail. cn dot fail which means something's wrong. Now notice the little red squiggly line. It's a very common mistake and I mentioned it with the link. That's because you're missing the parentheses. And then I'll just put something C out, invalid, integer, and let's put in a control A, then we'll do else. So now it'll only print if we do it. Otherwise, we're going to get something that says invalid integer. So let's do the 50 again. And that worked. Now let's go and do the AB. So now, boom. So we didn't get anything. Nothing got assigned in here. So we're in good shape. So we don't need to worry about anything there. So you'll see more of that later. So now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to, we have a first name and a last name. So let's choose, let's get enter your name. And then we'll do get line and we'll do um, names from CN and name. Then we'll do C out. Now there is an error in this. I'm letting you know right now that we're missing something. C out your name is. and then name. So let's see what happens now. And we're going to skip the uh, invalid. We'll, we'll just do it legally. So we'll type in infamous 50. Now look what happened. Your number is enter your name. Your name is blank. The reason being is inside of the keyboard we hit 50 here. 
and then we hit the enter key. Well, the enter key is still in the keyboard buffer. So now we did see out enter your name and get name, and it's going to look for something, going to type in the text, and as soon as you hit the new line character, it's going to put whatever was typed there. Well, nothing ever got typed. It saw the new link, new line character. So here, this is what we need to do is the actual ignore. So we're going to do C in, not get line, C in dot ignore. And then we're going to do, this is what I do. There's all different kinds of way of doing it. So this means dump everything uh, up to the first hundred characters, or if you hit the new line character, dump it. Now let's try it and see what happens. So we're going to do 50 again. And now enter your name. We're missing a, a new line. This is cosmetic. So notice that it gave my first name and last name. So now what we want to do here is we want to break up first name and last name. And I'm going to add something to this here. And I copied it, but I didn't paste it. So this time, let's put in an invalid number. So we're putting in AB for an integer. And look what happened. It entered your name, blah, blah, blah. It didn't work. So what we want to do here is we want to put in a C in clear. That means dump the, the junk that's in there. So let's see what happens now. So now we have, of course, to get the invalid integer, but now we have enter your name. So we're good. So this works with the fail. When you have a fail, uh, it's going to, obviously, if you put in an, something that you wanted an integer, but you put in a character, it's going to fail here. And we want to just give an error message, and then we want to type in C and clear. Otherwise, we're going to run into an issue down here. So without giving you all the local mumbo jumbo in here, we're not going to worry too much about that. So now let's go. We have enter your name. So what we want to do now is let's break up our first name and our last name. So the first thing I want to do is just type in. Uh, do we have the uh, name length? We do. So let's do name length. equals, and we'll do name, and I'm going to make a mistake here on purpose. So we have length here. Now the reason, again, it's an issue is because we're missing the parentheses. So we'll just type in C out, uh, and I think I spelled name length wrong. I think it has a capital L. Uh, length of name is name, length. And we need to fix this. So we still have an issue. You're missing a, you're um, missing a G on the... L-E-N-G, yeah. missing a G. E. All right, we're looking good now. Let's try it here and see what happens. So we have 50... And I'll just type in one name. So that should be two, four, six, seven. And the length is seven. Of course, we have some cosmetic issues. So let's put in this here. Let's run it again now, and we'll put in both names. Oh, yeah, that was dumb. So your name is this. The length is 14, which includes the space. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that takes care of that. So now what we want to do is we want to break up the name into first name and last name. So we're going to use what's called the find. So let's find where the actual space is. So we have name. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use whatever is the, um, the find will tell us where it is. So give me one second to get the way I had it in here. I think I used the space location. Okay. So I have an integer and I'm calling it space location. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to again type in name. And as soon as you hit the period, look at all the things that you can do in here. The assign, the add, the back, a, a whole bunch of stuff that you want. Let's just find, we're going to do the find here. And then what we want to do is we want to find a space and we're going to start at the zero character, which is really the first character. So then let's do C out. Space is located at space location. So let's see what happens now. We'll do five and we'll type in and the length is 14 and the space is at seven. So we can use this space now to get exactly where the first name ends and the last name begins. So what we're going to do here, and I'll go back and start explaining these step by step. So what we're going to do here is we're going to type in first name equals now we have something called a substring. So we're going to do name dot sub. So we want a portion of the string. So we're going to tell them exactly what we want. We want to start at zero. And how far would we want to go? We want to go up to the space. So we're going to type in space location. And then let's do C out. Your first name is and first name. So let's see if that works. Now again, we're going with the do one thing and test it. One thing and test it. One thing and test it. So we'll do five and we'll do Uh, that was not real bright. Now the minus one, I actually did this accidentally, but there's a good time. The minus one means that it was not found. It will return the location or minus one if it's not found. So let's try this again. And the length is 14, space located, your first name is there. So now what we can do, let's uppercase this, and we'll do first name. Now I'm going to make a mistake, and you'll see an issue. First name equals to upper, because we want to do the first character. First name of zero. Now this is going to give us a, a problem. What's going to wind up happening is it's going to get rid of the ICHARD and replace the, this with just a capital R. So what we need to do is we want to do a zero here. So that means replace the first character here with the uppercase first character. So make sure that you, if you don't get what you want, 
That's what the issue is in here. So then we can run this and let's see what happens. And first name, first name, your first name is Richard. I probably never printed it. So you'll see it before and after. And there, it did the capital. So now what we want to do is we want to get the last name. Well, we know where the location of the space is. So we don't have to worry about anything else. So what we want to do here is the last name. Again, we're going to use the substring again. It's going to equal name dot substring. And we want to start, but we don't want to start at zero this time. What we want to do is start at where the space location is. And we want to add one to it because if we start it at the space location, it'll include the space. So we need to add plus one. Now here comes a problem. How do we know how many characters to go? So in this particular case, what we need to do, we have the name length and we have the space location. So all we need to do is subtract those. So we can do the name length minus the space location. Now, if you get something, more, one more character, one less character, then you just need to adjust this or this. So let's go and do last name of zero. equals to upper last name of zero. And then we'll do C out. Your last name is, are you looking for Finn? Oh, we get to go. Okay. And let's do our last name is last name. So let's see how this works. So we're going to enter a number, which is five, and we'll do the same thing. And so we have your first name is Richard, your last name is Foster. Now, if you're not sure if it's getting an extra space or not, you can always add a little trick here. Say, you know, just some kind of character here. And if there's any space between this and here, you know there's an issue. And you may want to do it on the first name. But that'll tell you if you have an issue with anything. So we'll do the same thing. So notice that is smack up here. And you can do the same thing with the first name. So that takes care of this. So let's go back now and take a look at all the stuff that we just did. So we have um, a bunch of variables that I declared. And then we'll concatenate them for the full name in here. And then in the next section, we'll do the social security number. So we have also an integer string, which we're going to convert to uh, from a string to a actual number. So we entered the number here. And if we enter a, we're using C in. So if we enter an ASCII character, a letter instead of a number, then what we're going to do is it'll hit here, see, and fail. 
will tell the in here invalid integer. You type in a letter or blah blah blah, whatever you want. Then we're going to use C and clear to get rid of anything that's in the keyboard, get rid of this fail. Otherwise, we're going to physically print the number. So because we're using C in, we're going to have a new line character in the keyboard buffer. So we have to dump that before we can use get line. If we don't dump it, we don't dump it, the new line character will remain in the keyboard buffer. As soon as we use get line, it'll see the new line character and won't put anything into name except a blank screen. String rather. So now we're typing in your name here just to make sure. We're getting the length of it. There's a function. So you're using the name of the string and then dot length with parentheses. And now we're finding where the space is because we want to separate a the first name from the last name. So we're using name dot find means or locate. It's basically the same thing. Locate the occurrence of a space starting at zero, which is the first character. So then we assign that to space location. Then we did first name equals a substring. A substring just means take a portion of a string in there. So where do we want? We want to start at location zero. And we want to do as many characters up to the space location, which would be seven. So we want to do the first seven characters if you're typing in Richard. Then it tells us our first name. Now we're converting the first character. Now remember, a string is nothing more than an array of characters. So if I were to type in one here, which we'll do. Let's run it and see what happens here. Actually, you know what? Let's leave it at zero. And I claim we'll have a little r and then a capital R. Because it means replace the second character. Remember, the first character starts at zero with an uppercase version of the first character. So let's just see what happens. So we have, there it is. So it replaced the second character, which is index of one, with an uppercase version of this. So let's correct this now. So then it tells us what our first name is. Now we want to get our last name. So, but this time we don't want to start at the first character. What we want to do is start, we know where the space location is, is at number seven. What we want to do here, now remember, 7 is really 8 character in here because it starts at 0. So we want to start at the next one after the space. How many characters do we need? Well, we don't know how many characters are in the last name, but we do know how many are in the length, and we do know where the space location is. So all we have to do is subtract the two of them, and that will give us how many characters are in the last name. And then we're uppercasing it, the first letter, and then we're printing it. So now what we'll do is we have something called full name. So we can type in your full name is and then I'm hitting the plus sign um, actually, I am not doing a good job. Let's do full name. And we'll do equals. And plus first name. And don't forget the the space. And then last name. Then we'll type C out. Um, full name. So this was not accurate here. Let's get rid. Oh, actually, that's what we're doing. Um, so let's get rid of this and just calculate the 
first name, then we'll do it down here. Your full name is, and then full name. So let's see how we made out. So we have five, and we'll do, so it's, this is just repeating what is here. The length is 14. The space is located at seven. Your first name is lowercase is Richard is what you typed in. Then we uppercase it here. Last name is Foster and your full name is, so let's put a new line character here. And let's get rid of the first printing of it. Oops. So this was here so you could see how it got converted. So let's go up top now and run this one more time. So we know it works for this. Uh, your last name is Foster, your full name. So I'm still missing. Um, oh, okay. So let's try something with um, a totally different name and see how that works. So let's try George Washington. Invalid image. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that. I probably should take out that first thing. So we don't input it, George Washington. So your name is George Washington. The length is 17, the space is at six. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six here. Um, your first name is George and your last name is Washington. Notice the uppercase. Your full name is George Washington. So remember zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So remember you start at zero. So always be careful about that. So that does mean though technically we have six characters in there. So that looks good. So I'm going to cut the video off here uh, and then go over it one more time. And then we'll go back to Part two of it, we're going to convert an integer to a string. We're going to, or rather a string to an integer. And we're going to um, input some spaces and lines and a social security number.